The world's first thermos was a prototype invented by German Reinhold Borger. He patented the product in 1903. Reinhold Borger was born in 1866 in the former glassmaking village of Barut near Berlin. A small museum pays homage to its famous son. The building houses a reproduction of the workshop in which Burger produced insulated flasks for laboratories in accordance with the vacuum principles discovered in 1893. A glass flask was insulated by enclosing it in a larger flask and creating a vacuum between them to prevent the transfer of heat or cold. While inspecting a flask, Burger had a flash of inspiration. It came to me that you could also use it for drinks. I took a row of flasks and filled them with hot coffee, tea, milk, and so on. 24 hours later, the drinks were still as if they'd just been prepared. After much experimentation, I gave the double-walled bottle the form it still enjoys today. And as every child must have a name, I christened this double-walled bottle Thermos. Using spacers, Burger stabilized the cavity between the glass flasks. This prevented them from smashing against one another and breaking. It was a new idea and the one he patented. In the beginning, only the well-to-do could afford one of his thermos flasks, but they quickly became available to a wider spectrum of society. But Burger didn't benefit from this trend. He sold his patent to a Berlin-based company along with the U.S. rights back in 1908. It was only in the 1920s that the thermos became a standard household item. People use them on outings or during their lunch break at work. Initially, the thermos enjoyed its greatest success in industrialized nations. Needs changed and the thermos did too. In the 1950s, people could acquire a picnic set designed to hook onto the seat of a VW Beetle. The thermos underwent a makeover. The practical household helper gradually turned into a lifestyle product. Thermos flasks became chic. So their design was increasingly important. The firm Alfi, based in the southern German town of Wertheim, is famous for its innovative products. Some Alfi models have become design classics. In the 1980s, we started working with top designers around the world to create thermos flasks that went well beyond the norm. They were completely distinctive, not only in terms of function, but also in their form. Developing a new model can take up to a year. Today, many thermos flasks are made of steel rather than glass, and the manufacturing process is very different from the one used in Burger's day. Nowadays, designers face other challenges. For instance, we consider how much pressure needs to be applied to a button to give it a pleasant feel, or screwing off the lid and putting it back on again. It should be clear, so I don't have to hunt around. I just put the lid on, turn it to the stop position, and it fits perfectly. The thermos has been assuming ever new forms for more than a century, yet the basic principle has remained the same. Today, few people know about Reinhold Burger and his patent, but the name he gave to his invention is still a household word. <laughs>